Get in the water, Jennifer. And just like that, I'm in the water. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to you from Inks Lake State. Finally, uh -huh. September, and we have a cool snap in Texas. Not really, <laughs> but we've had triple digits and way high triple digits. So really, for me, 105, that's a bit much. Even 103 is pretty toasty, pretty oppressive. And right now, driving through Central Texas, it's 97. And believe me, there is a huge difference between 105 degrees and 97. We're almost to the campsite. I'm by myself, let the dogs at home because I have the kayak. So hopefully there will be enough water where I'm going. Okay. I have arrived. This is kind of a complicated, circuitous route to the camping area where the topography really changes from the hill country area into this area. It looks like Lano. It looks like Enchanted Rock. If you've never been to Enchanted Rock, lots of people, which is amazing that it's still, that it's so hot, but We'll come out to where the water is. Okay, there's my spot. I can just back in straight. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I got out to check for any obstacles. I like to do that just to make 1,000% sure there's nothing behind me. And then we start the back. I got it all in there straight. And which was actually easy because it's just you just kind of back in straight but look this is my entire site and i keep looking at this tree because i just heard a, well i saw a spiny lizard and they're pretty large but they're quick <laughs> this is nice the lake is right here so i can just put the kayak in right there isn't that neat and Look at this. Somebody left their nasty cigars there. I guess they think they'll burn, but come on, y'all. I'm going to start doing a collection. I show everything I pick up. There's peanut shells. Isn't this pretty? There's lots of people. This is a huge park. But it's laid out nicely because it is spread out lots of loops and I still don't even know where I am I mean I was so it's I'm usually really good with like visually where I am on a north-south axis <laughs> I just could not figure out where I was I mean there's just so many little hidden side loops and and the lady assured me she said that if you get lost just any place you are you can turn around so i said okay and you can see how just very dry it is because even the little trees that they've planted are very dry and we got like one, one or two showers last week came through texas from that tropical storm and we need more of those those tropical storms are really important to people on the coast when it's really dry so i got everything set up i'm not even going to put the level things out here's some deer scat got the kayak everything going it's still very warm oh y'all know what these little things are that's mesquite beans you can actually make a flower out of this stuff. Then the honey mesquite. This has a, I guess that's, is that called a burl? Is that, would be called a burl? Possibly. And then you know what that little cluster is? Parasite, hint, hint. It's mistletoe. Oh yeah, this tree has seen some stress. Huh. Now I miss the dogs when they're not with me, and I know I just can't bring them on every trip. You know, if I if I want to try to kayak, 
you know, unless I bring someone with me and go kayaking and have them watch the dogs, which is kind of unfair. You know, it's just kind of hard. But I'm just going to have to get used to not coming out with them sometimes. I did hear the ranger, she told someone that this lake has a constant level. So, I don't know, I'll have to look more into that. I mean, it's definitely, you can tell where it's been. I mean, that's, you know, those are kind of watery-ish plants. So it's gone down. It goes into Buchanan Dam. Uh, so they regulate it a little bit, so I don't know. your area I thought I would practice using my new microphone actually I've purchased two microphones and after I did the video look no sound and that's why you're about to see me talking about the microphone I am going to master these microphones I swear this is the one I had at Rob Jaggers and that's the thing that I had that I had it on the phone and it was just click 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 and I couldn't even use the sound in that video. That's the one I had to do the massive voiceover. And it's got this little thing. And I didn't, I couldn't make that work. So now I have this one. I just tried to use that and that didn't work. So I'm gonna have to use, well, I'm going to have to read the directions that are tiny, but I'll figure it out. And I really want something sweet. I really, really wanted to go into Kingsland and get like Dairy Queen ice cream cone, but it's dark, and I was like, no, don't. So I'm eating some of my homemade granola and just plain yogurt. And if you let this kind of, you know, start around and kind of let it set, it's actually pretty good. So I haven't showed the inside of the camper in a long time, but it looks the same. <laughs> kind of flagged down one of the park hosts and act him. Oh look, I should have. I asked him about, you know, what if I don't make it back before checkout time? I was kind of scared and he said it's no problem you know I know there's no one that's coming to the site tonight and he, he said he'll kind of watch out so I said thank goodness so now that put my mind at ease get in the water Jennifer I'm going to attempt to put this down in the slough I'm not sure if I can make it over there to the devil's what's it called it's not a sinkhole I don't know but we'll just see how far I can get it's about, I don't know, already maybe 78 degrees, still pretty early in the morning. And supposed to get up to, I think, 102, but not until 1 or 2 in the afternoon. So I got my backpack. I'm going to have to get a dry pack. I've got the backpack hidden behind here, but that's not waterproof at all. And, you know, I just have some water, a couple snacks. And I have my little chicken purse for my <laughs> cell phone and map and keys. So, yeah, I need to get some dry boxes or dry little thingies. Okay, I'll see you when I'm on the water. And just like that, I'm in the water. It didn't take me long at all. This is very shallow. And I'm able to push myself off. I know, Dad said... Do not go in the water by yourself. Well, you know, what else am I supposed to do? Look how clear it is. I knew it would be like this. This area of Texas is all spread. Oh, there's a little fish right there. Oh, he was so fast. Can you see how clear that is? <laughs> okay, we gotta make it over there to the devil's place. Hopefully. Okay, I made it up here. I made it actually past the devil water hole, devil's water hole. But oh look, there's a big if you can see that nest of flying insects. We're going to stay clear of that. There's one guy here. I wasn't sure, you know, it's not labeled or anything. I'm sorry, I'm kinda I need to get a GoPro. <laughs> yeah, I think I've gotten out of the wind. People crawl up on that big boulder and then jump down. The lady said it was 12 feet, but the guy that's 
going up there right now said it was much deeper than that he had heard and he also said that there is a secret cave where you can scuba dive but they don't want people to know that <laughs> i don't know if that's true or not that, that just might be urban legend i don't know but he's gonna go up there and jump it's early in the morning so it's not crowded the water is super super clear i've already picked up some trash that was on the side of the granite so you can really see this the formation here this is the pink granite same thing that's in lano really neat part of the lano uplift isn't this pretty look at where the granite is included and that other rock i don't know if that's dolomite i don't know look at that isn't that crazy pretty the cactus yeah he um suddenly decided not to jump from the boulder he said once you get up there it's much higher than it looks from down here and he said no nope. <laughs> isn't that kind of funny when it you know it's just so it's just so deceiving he said yesterday there were a hundred or more people here so i am glad i'm out here early in the morning to avoid that it is beautiful and I'm gonna have a tailwind going back I had a headwind coming down here the whole way it probably took about I don't know maybe not even 20 minutes getting up here but I was paddling hard the guy asked me said oh are you a kayaker I said yeah <laughs> yeah I'm a kayaker I've been a few times in my life <laughs> I guess if you're on a boat and you got a kayak you're a kayaker right no, but I knew what he meant, but I was like, oh, yeah, that's not that hard. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the moon. It's weird that you can't see what you see in the video, I mean, on the screen. Isn't that weird? It was bright last night. Very bright. Look how pretty this is. This is just like Enchanted Rock except with water and you can't camp at Ex enchanted rock makes to hit the side look how clear isn't that pretty and yes i have a life jacket on dad <laughs> which dad said it doesn't matter if you get knocked out you can just float upside down i was like i know that sometimes you just gotta take chances I think this is the first time in a very long time that I haven't been laboring on Labor Day. I'm usually doing stuff. I finally get to relax. I guess that is a lot higher than it appears. Let's see. I would say about, I don't know, let's see a two-story house, 25 more than 20, 20 feet. There's another one of those vermin nests. The wind is blowing me. <laughs> I have to stop it. I came across just the other side just to get out of the wind to keep it from drifting the kayak. And I'm in this little, I don't know what you call it, little alcove thing. Let's see? And this woman, she and her husband are on paddle boards and her music is so loud, I'm trying to talk over it. I mean, it's really loud and I can't put it on the video because it's loud. <laughs> there they are, I'm like, really? You really, I don't understand that. Okay, I was gonna leave this section in, but I realized you could really hear her music. But I was asking y'all, if I am I just like a total grump? Am I the only one that doesn't like to hear somebody else's music when I'm out doing stuff like this? I mean, really? Ugh, it was very irritating to me. And I don't understand why, if you really have to have your music, just use some headphones. I mean, come on. <sighs> okay, uh, get in a better mood, get in a better mood. You're out here, it's pretty, 
Don't let the music ruin it. Just get away. We're getting away. We're getting away. Okay, that new lady came in. She's got her hat on. My battery's going, so I gotta hurry up. And I said, how are you? And she said, I am doing it just to see if I can still do it. And I'm betting she's probably 85. So there you go. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Can you see that? That rock is suspended. Look. Cool. Now how come I had a headwind coming out here and now I'm gonna have a headwind going back? <laughs> well, I don't care. I'm out here boosting my mental health. It's still only nine o'clock in the morning. A few more people have showed up, but it's very pleasant. Some more kayakers. Those are the ones you can um, check out for the day, I think. Grapevines. Get out of this. And I'm back to the campsite. It's pretty close to the water, wouldn't you say? <laughs> That's nice. Back out some. My little slough over there. I'm in a good area where there's no wind. You get out in the middle, it's kind of windy. And that's not even really the middle part of the lake. I mean, where the park area is, it's a no wake zone, so that's nice. I'm still just paddling around right by the area to put in, but I feel like a, a little kid in the bathtub or in a swimming pool. I don't want to get out. I don't want to get out. I don't want to get out. <laughs> I don't want to get out. Do I have to get out and go back to work? I don't want to. I don't want to. <sighs> Water is very cool. I keep saying a lot of this, you know, spring fed, but this is, oh, it's very cool water. Until next time, Ink's Lake. I saw you, turtle. <laughs> Let's see if I can show you where I was. Let's see, get closer. Oh, the shadow. Mm -hmm. see it here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. Let's see, my campsite is right in here, 210, and then I went all the way around the fishing pier out here. This gets pretty big in here, um, and when I went out there, I just went straight in like that, and then when I came back, and that, you know, puts you way back in that, to that devil's water hole, and then... When I came back though, I hugged this edge. I kind of went all in here and hugged around that edge and then went out and came back. This area, I think around, this is where you can rent everything, boats and kayaks and stuff. And then beyond this point west, this was big boats and big wake area. So in this area here, there's no wake. So it's, there were people on paddle boards, so it's pretty safe. Okay, y'all, the reason why I'm doing this video kind of far away is because I'm testing the microphones. Ugh. And you know what actually works? Turning them on. <laughs> it's like a little bitty, tiny little mouse button. And yeah, I figured it out. And I also charged it. So how about that? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to you from... Inks Lake State Park, where most people have gone. <gasps> Got some wind. Let's see how this does in the wind. I don't know. I'm just watching people go by because I'm one of the only campers here. And they're looking at me like, why isn't she leaving? But like I've said before, I'm going to put this on. Let's see if it does anything different. I don't know. Like I've said before, if you stay here a little bit longer, everybody leaves and then you have the park to yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm all packed up and ready to go. I got the kayak in loaded and I'm just watching people. Uh, one thing I want to say, and I'm so stupid, I tried to get this to work when I was in the truck, so I might do it again. 
but the truck is so loud when you're driving. Um, I saw a video, I don't know, you know how you just see them across your feed, and um, it said, it was, when was it too cold to camp? And I thought, what, too cold? What are you talking about? Um, I mean, I know, it, winterization and all that kind of stuff, but I'm thinking, when is it too hot to camp? And, you know, here it is, September, and it's still really hot. I'm going to cut it off. As y'all can see, I had an interruption. Two kids just walked right behind me <laughs> at my campsite. Camping etiquette. Anyway, what was I saying? When it's too hot to camp? I mean, it's gonna be, you know, back up to 102, I think today, like I keep saying. And, um, you know, is that too hot to camp? I mean, it's probably 11.35, 11.40 right now. And it's, it's very hot in the sun, obviously. It's not bad in the shade up here. It's really dry. You just have to get up early in the morning. So, you know, it's all relative. It's just depend on, depend on what you're, you're used to, what you're willing to do. And, you know, it's just like anywhere. If you live in the south, you have to deal with the heat. If you live up north, Minnesota, Wisconsin, up there, you've got to deal with cold temperatures. So, you know, they're just, they're starting to put their campers up and winterize and be done for the season and we're just now you know thankfully hopefully going to be cooling down pretty soon so i don't know the next two weeks in september in central texas it's triple digits again which is i have to say that's pretty unusual i mean september's warm but triple digits in september mm, i don't know so i just wanted to get on here and try my little new newly found not newly found, but dummy me. Uh, I have to turn it on. But these little buttons are tiny, so I'm glad. I hope this works. Eventually, I can do more videos of me. I know, you know, people say, I want to see you in the video. I know, I know. It's just hard sometimes. It's hard when you're by yourself to not only film yourself, you know, even walking, especially if I have the dogs. So they have the dogs, you know, with one hand and then the camera in the other hand. And but it's just sometimes hard to remember to do it. You know, you get busy and get doing stuff. Oh, I need to record myself doing this because I know I like to see people and I like to see people setting up, taking down, doing maintenance, doing all kinds of stuff. I watch people's videos for a long time that are just doing regular RV maintenance and car maintenance and I watch them. So I thought I need to start doing more. So. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. I know this is a little bit longer than I'm used to doing but I was just trying to just include some more things. And you know, there's a lot going on with the kayak and then I kind of did an experiment with the picnic table conversation. So anyway, let me know if you like that format or not and I'll see you in the next video.